here we will see partial class in c sharp a partial class is a special feature of c sharp it provides a special ability to implement the functionality of a single class into multi into multiple files and these files are combined into single class file when the application is compiled a partial class is created by using a partial keyword this keyword is also useful to split the functionality of methods interfaces or structure into multiple files now we'll see what is the need of partial class when working on large projects spreading a class over separate files enables multiple programmers to work on it at the same time or when working with automatically generated source code can be added to the class without having to recreate the source file visual studio uses this approach when it creates a windows form web services and so on You can create code that uses these classes without having to modify the file created by Visual Studio when using source generators to generate additional functionality in the class. Rules for defining a partial class are all the partial class definitions must be in the same assembly and namespace. All the parts must have the same accessibility like public or private. If any part is declared abstract, sealed or base type, then the whole class is declared of the same type. Different parts can have different base types and so the final class will inherit all the base types. The partial modifier can only appear immediately before the keyword class structure or interface and nested partial types are allowed now we will see advantages of partial class with the help of partial class multiple developers can work simultaneously in the same class in different files you can separate ui design code and business logic code so that it is easy to read and understand for example if you are developing a web application using visual studio and when you add web form there are two source files are created aspx.cs and aspx.designer.cs these two files have same class with partial keyword aspx.cs has business logic and aspx.designer.cs has user interface when working with automatically generated source the code can be added to the class without having to recreate the source file that is if you are working with a link to sql and create dbml file and if you drag and drop the table it creates the partial class in designer.cs if you need more columns in this table to bind on ui grid but you don't want to add column in the database table you can create new separate file for this class that has new property for that column and it will be partial class that does affect to the mapping between database table and dbml entity but you can easily get an extra field you can maintain your application better by compacting the large classes that is suppose you have class that has multiple interfaces so you can create multiple source files depend on the interface implements it is easy to understand and maintain an interface implemented on which the source file has partial class general syntax for defining a partial class is public partial class employee in which you can write a method and again public class employee in which we can write another method 
Here we will write a program to explain working of partial class. Now we will declare one partial class public partial class accept num. Here I will declare two variables private integer x and y. Then I will define a constructor with two parameters and I will store these constructor parameters to our local variables. And I will write one method print division. In this I will print division of x and y. Then I will define another partial class with same name accept num and here I will define another method print multiplication. And here I will print multiplication of x and y. Now, in another class main method, we will create object of this accept num. So, accept num a equal to new accept num. Since we have defined the constructor, I will pass two variables with it 15 and 10, and I will call a dot print multiplication and a dot print division. When I will execute it, it will print multiplication of two numbers and division of two numbers. Here I have defined accept num class with partial keyword and while executing I have created object of this accept num and I have executed both the methods from these two partial classes.